My research group works on solving biomedical problems. I work with different kind of compounds, so I try to bring different molecules or different compounds together and form hybrid materials that have different kinds of application, such as in the drug uh, transport and uh, drug delivery processes. We have 21 undergraduate researchers currently working in the group. They are working on our OCE projects, they're working on our other projects, and these are the next generation of Ontario employees. These are highly qualified personnel. They're gonna be very talented scientists by the time they graduate the group and leave, and I'm super happy to be involved in that. What I like about the way Dr. Trent uh, organizes his research team is that he focuses a lot on teaching and mentoring. So he has a lot of undergrads in his research team, and they work in such a way that you have the postdocs that are working with the, the graduate students and then you have the graduate students that are taking care of some undergrads. So it's kind of a pyramid. It's a nice way of working. I like that a lot. So we're working with a pharmaceutical company based in London and we're trying to look at new ways to deliver drugs using small bubbles in water. And so we can load a lot more of these highly water insoluble compounds like chemotherapies and have them targeted directly towards cancer cells using these bubbles to carry them along. We have four major areas of work. So one thing we do is we make new molecules using synthetic chemistry. That's what this lab here is for that we're in right now. We're making new compounds for anti-cancer applications and autoimmune applications. We have a biology lab where we test these molecules out. And then we have a materials analysis lab where we look at the behavior of these materials or we can measure the actual properties of materials that we make. And finally, we have a computational lab where we do a lot of computational chemistry, looking at how molecules interact with biological receptors and proteins, and seeing if we can design better molecules using the computers so we can make what looks like it's going to be the most promising molecules. I'm working on the synthesizing a TF antigen, the acetyl-free version of that, and also I'm working on synthesizing the TN antigen and also the glycolipids. My main focus is on the acetyl-free, the TF antigen, the cancer express unique carbohydrates in this structure, but the immune system can't recognize it, and this is a problem. Uh, my research is to overcome these barriers by removing the acetyl group and makes it more stable that they can go to the target and induce immune system. I'm working um, on design and synthesis uh, new classes of self-immolated polymer for biomedical and also drug delivery and nanomaterial. I'm really happy to have this opportunity to teach undergrad students how they work in the lab. We have a lot of opportunities to discover new things. We have a lot of different modern facilities. I'm so lucky to work with Dr. Trent. He understands uh, his students very well. And also we always give him idea and he's open-minded to accept our idea and I really like that. I am a, actually a fairly recent addition to Dr. Trant's research team. Uh, I'm working under my mentor, Mana, and we are designing a self-immolative polymer that is more biocompatible than the traditional methods. And these sort of materials will serve many applications, such as helping in the delivery of drug molecules. It's been an amazing experience to be able to research in a laboratory during my undergraduate years. And I think it's very important because performing research under a mentor really helps me reinforce certain concepts that I learned in class. As I go on, I find that I become more and more independent. In this lab, I've gotten the perfect amount of both help and enough of a push to be able to do things on my own. It's a very enriching experience that I'm very grateful. A lot of what we're doing, we are looking for partners. We're looking for partners on our anti-cancer applications. We're looking for partners on our materials applications. We make these materials that degrade on command. We can degrade our compounds in a few minutes, and these have awesome applications in industry and in pharmacy. We're also looking for partners in the agribusiness industry as we're developing new types of resins to remove toxins from wastewater.